Hey folks, Wayne Taylor, Honest Home Finder, uh, the Cotswold Depart, pretty close I think, of uh, Charlotte, North Carolina. I want to take a look at some Taylor model, Taylor Morrison models and inventory homes. They got two plans out here, the Vale and the Breckenridge, and that's the Vale right there we're about to take a look at. And when this thing says luxury townhomes, guys, they aren't kidding. These things are decked to the nines and uh, they're just, they're fun to video. You might have noticed sometimes I get up and down in the enthusiasm uh, department when I'm taking these videos, but uh, I'm sure you've also always noticed that anytime I'm taking a look at a Taylor Morrison plan, I get excited because I just, I love the product. That's just the way it is. So we're going to take a look at the Vail. This one actually has four bedrooms. You don't have to build it that way if you're lucky enough to build. It's kind of tough to do when it comes to um, townhomes. That's for the simple fact that, um, sorry, I was putting that underneath there just in case somebody actually looking to buy. Let's see my radio notebook. But they build the uh, townhome buildings, usually around four plans in them ahead of time. So it's tough when you're buying new with these guys to take a look. Um, this is going to be a great difference between the Breckenridge that I just took a look at. It's got four bedrooms. Um, and in their plans on both the Breckenridge and the Vale, and this is the Vale once again, that bedroom is considered a flex room on the plan which means you can do whatever you want to with it, or they can. This one just happens to be a bedroom, or like it was an entertainment area on the last plan we looked at, and hopefully I can point that out on some of the inventory we'll, we'll peruse. And once again, I always forget this, I am a realtor, um, and at the top of the screen is my buyer's incentive. Take a look at that, no, you don't click on it. Unfortunately, I don't have that capability, but go take it, check it out. And please subscribe if these videos do you any good. Um, I started doing them years ago when I had clients that got a little frustrated, especially ones from out of town, when it comes from... I'm going to pause for a second. Well, I didn't pause. I turned it off. Hopefully I can split these two together. I should be able to. I've got the technology. He's got the technology. Anyway, started doing it when people getting frustrated looking at a screen or just a floor plan on a piece of paper, two dimensional, and it's just difficult to spend two, three, four hundred thousand dollars on just that if you don't have a chance to look at it. And there's a lot of folks that, you know, they want me to cut down on the process a little bit. Say, hey, I don't have time to go see six or seven different places. Why don't you go take a look for us? So I started doing the videos for clients and then started after that to do it for folks that anybody so, buyers and send up at the top and subscribe. Apparently, I think subscribe makes Google happy and more people look at the videos. Nice deck. You don't know, hardly ever see that. I have decks on townhomes, but not super nice ones, right? Talking to myself too much. And I will try to adjust the volume if I think about it. This is the second video I've ever made with the mask on. So hopefully I'm not too muffled. Nice little work area. All right, let's head up and check out those bedrooms. All right, I made it up. It's going to be the master bedroom. King size bed fits easily. This is a beautiful, beautiful section of Charlotte. I mean, when you ride to get here, I get nostalgic. I, obviously, I do a lot of new home videos. But there's something about those neighborhoods, established neighborhoods, there's old trees and old buildings and well, you know the difference, don't you folks? If they've got a yard, they're probably 30 years old at least. 
go back. We consider this the third floor. Hmm, I did not mention downstairs, and I'll have to dub it in, I suppose. In that section when we first walked in where there's a bedroom, the back half of that is your garage. Duh on me. But they're not huge. They're 2,000, 1,900 square foot townhomes. This one's bigger. Let's see. Can we squeeze so much in? All right. One more level. I want you to see this deck. All right, sorry if this is awkward. We made it to the top. And this is a cool little feature. This you don't get in any townhomes. Not very many either. And once again, it's so bright out here. I can't barely see the screen, so. Just building, building, building. Most of these are sold. They've got about... 15 units left, 12 units left, something like that. Look at there, there's the deck we just took a look at. I'll get you a back view. Not gonna get close to the edge. This is one thing about old Polly. He does not like heights. All right, folks, top of the screen, my buyer's incentive. Once again, Wayne Taylor, Honest Home Finder. Thanks for watching.